Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge and we've got Miscellany Monday today and what we're looking at today is this. It comes inside this very light pouch and as you can see right there, it's a four node hiking stick or called a four node collapsing trekking pole. You know, zips close the top, easy to carry around, very nice and light airy bag so it can dry out if you need it to dry out. 130 centimeters. It also comes in a bit of a shorter stick as well. Made by Nature Hike. Banggood contacted me recently and asked if I would like to review some of the products that they have and they let me have at their store and choose whatever I wanted to review. And I knew that I was going to Jasper. As most of you know, that's where I got sick. I did have this pole with me and I've got a couple pictures of me with this pole that I'll include in the video. Because I fell sick and I just couldn't make the video while I was there. I really wanted to make the video there, but it is what it is. And so let me tell you about this hiking stick and I will include hopefully some other video and some more pictures all about this thing. So stick around. I know I can't get the entire thing in the picture here, but let's get started with the tip first. It comes with this, oops, sorry about all that noise, comes with this rubber tip that you can take off. It's got some nice traction to it, and it's a, a rubber that's hard, but not hard to the touch. You know, you can put your push your nail in it a little bit. It's got some softness to it. So this is a good trekking pole for various hard and dry surfaces. But if you're out in the wintertime like we were on ice and we hiked along a little bit of a canyon that had a frozen stream at the bottom, you know, cross between a stream and a river depending on what time of year and water flow is going on, eh? If you take that rubber off, you've got this. And when you look here, it's got a tungsten tip right there and then it's got the steel holder for it. So that really grips in. It's got little edges on it, hard edges. So that, that actually gripped onto ice very well, gave a good grip. A little bit higher up, we've got this disc that works for resisting some snow and it can come off as well. You just screw it off. If you don't want to use that, you just take it off and then you've just got a pole like that. You know, if you break through some ice or something with this tungsten tip, it'll catch on here. So if my hand here is the surface you're walking on, if it slips through, chances are very good. It'll catch right there and not poke all the way through. So that's what that's good for. And then we've got this nice thin tube all the way along. Let's show you exactly how thick that is. The tube is 0 0.470 inches thick or 0.69, whatever that is, that's 12 millimeters. It comes in four main sections. So you've got the bottom here, and all that you do is you feed them together. You know, keep the string inside, feed that together, hold it, feed that and that one together, and move it on down, put the last one in, like that and now they're all together come to the end here and you pull on this string to make it go tight and they have already put a knot in the string that you can see right there and that knot comes and you fold it over onto that little notch in this aluminum here and that locks the whole thing together You also have here, nice and loose and free, is a strap to put your wrist through. It's adjustable in size, so you can get it, you know, around just about anybody's wrist. It goes quite large and you can get it, you know, fairly small. Then we've got this foam on top of the bar. And it's, you know, a soft foam. You can see me stick my finger in there. Very nice and grippy, good texture. Uh, feels like closed cell foam and it's got those lines in it very grippy and I can fit both hands on it and you can see the foam on the end there 
and you can see a little bit of foam on the end there. And I've got large size hands, so this will certainly fit anybody's hand with a variety of spots on it. And that's because the length is not adjustable at all. So without the adjustable length, you need the option of where you want to put your hand. That's all fair and dandy, no problem at all. How well does this thing work? Well, before we do that, let's talk about the weight. I already weighed it beforehand. It's 7.4 ounces, quite light, 211 grams. And this pouch here is 0.4 ounces, very, very light. You know, that it makes it 221 grams. So it's a good little storage pouch to keep. I think it's a really good choice for people to get, especially if you're a guy who has a bug out bag, an EDC bag. There's a number of reasons why I recommend this. One, it packs up small and light. That's a good thing because it's just over half a pound, not too heavy, uh, size is not too big. Uh, the whole pouch is you know, 14 inches long. That's uh, what, 35 centimeters, something like that, about 35 centimeters long. And you know, it's a couple inches wide and around no big deal at all to take up space. You might need a pole for a variety of things. It could be useful in a shelter, uh, a tent peg, uh, not peg, a tent post or some kind of shelter post. It can be used, uh, the parts can be used for a splint, useful in a splint. The parts could be used for, hey, hiking, yeah, for walking, let's say you twist an ankle or something and you need to take a little bit of weight off your foot. Useful for that. Uh, maybe you have to get through some terrain that's very aggressive and you need the assistance of something to help you get up and down some steep surfaces. You know, for the weight and size, it's just not a thing that you wanna forget. I think this is something you wanna include in your, in your bug out bag. It's so very, very useful. It's much smaller folds up lighter than your traditional hiking stick or walking stick. Really good choice. If this is too big for you, get the smaller version. I'll include the smaller version in a link in the description below. Good choice, not very expensive. And uh, you know, it'll just take a few weeks to get here from, from Banggood unless you choose uh, you know super fast shipping method. I couldn't buy this type of stick locally here in Canada for three times this price. It's just not available. You just have to uh, buy them foreign if you're in Canada, especially if you live in some place that's I'm an hour's drive from the city uh, of any decent size. The town I live in is pretty big, 8,000, 9,000 people. And you know I just can't find it here and I haven't found it in the city either. So let's take some pictures and some video of what it looks like in use. Very, very light I'm finding. And having that uh, carbide or tungsten, I believe it's tungsten tip, perfect for grabbing ice. As you can see, we're inside a canyon that flows with water. I am just under six feet tall, and it comes up just past my chest. Let's move this camera up a little bit. So I am five feet 11 and this 130 centimeters comes right up here mid chest. Easy to hold this way. My arm is even at a greater than 90 degree angle. So the smaller one would be certainly adequate for people shorter than me. It does flex a bit when you're using it. As you can see right there, when I put a lot of weight on it, I'm going to take an awful lot of force before this will break. Uh, it feels good, very light, easy to carry. Yeah, put this on your hand and you know some weight goes right here and it just very very useful I like this stick a lot and um, you know I just don't have a hill here to walk on let's move this back down a bit so it's a stick that will come in handy even if it does flex the shorter one I assume it's going to flex a little bit less because I'm assuming it's the same thickness I think this is a buy, especially at the price point that it is. 
And why don't you consider it for your bug out bag or even just in your trunk in your vehicle. You just never know when you're going to need either some straight edge to help you out with something um, or simply to carry around. It is not a permanent long-term solution. The one weakness of this thing is this knot right here. That will wear out over time as you're bending it over this hole. You know, you pull it up, you bend it over, that knot is what's holding it. Over time, this string is gonna fray and it's gonna break off. I don't know how long that will last. Let's use this paracord to uh, take the place of that cordage and let's assume that you know this comes out, this knot is what goes over the edge to lock the thing open and that fails. What we can do is cut it off just before the knot. So this, this end is the end that's inside the, the pole and we cut off that knot, that's all frayed to bits, garbage, no good. Just toss that away. We get another piece of cordage from somewhere else, either, you know, either we take, you know, the cordage off of here, because that's what it is, you know, you borrow that off of there or whatever. I'm just gonna grab some other paracord. And this is what I would do to make this thing last for years and years and years. The part that came out inside the trekking pole, make a knot in it a little ways down. And make it hard. You know, whatever, with a little bit of heat, not too much, whatever, you know. And let's cut that off. Take some new paracord, make a knot, slip the old one through, tie that knot back, add some heat to it to set it. It's going to be quite a bit thinner because, you know, this other cordage is quite a bit thinner. Just demonstrating. Heat it up, make it nice and solid and everything. Trim it down. And now you've got a longer piece of cordage. This will be small enough and thin enough to fit in inside, inside that pole, no problem at all. If it's paracord, it might not, but remember, we're talking about this light stuff. And then you just make a new knot, that locking knot, at a spot that's right where the original knot was. And then now this knot is what's gonna lock over and you've just given extra life, renewed life to your trekking pole. Not a bad idea. So it's easy to take back apart. Seal up the end, ready to go. Breathable to let all your moisture out. And off you go just over seven ounces, good choice. If you like this video, even if you don't particularly want this product, if you like the video, please click on the thumbs up, share with your friends, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb.